Well, hey folks, Species 7 here. Welcome back to the channel. And. Hmm. Welcome back to Farm Sim 19. <laughs> I did that already. We are here, of course, on the multiplayer map. And, uh. Well, I just logged in and. All of my crops are ready. I was not expecting that. I really was not expecting. So, yikes. Um, <laughs> yeah, not a big deal because we can start with uh, we can start with what we have, which is to say, I can start by chopping down the sunflowers. Because we have that harvester, she's ready to go. I think I have to switch up headers. I didn't actually look, but. Beyond that, not a big deal. We can get a helper on there, and they should be quite fine at doing that particular job. What, the truck is full? Oh, man. Quit hitting them, come on. Prices have gone down a little bit. 232. Well, it looks like Central is still paying the best buck. So that's kind of a good thing because it's sort of one of the closer, closer options. I'm almost thinking of getting rid of that fill weight mass effect thing. I think it might be a little, uh, a little overblown. Although I guess it is sort of adjustable if you want to go in and screw with the files. I could, you know, turn sugar beets down or something. But we'll see. Let's see if we can't get a bit of a run at the road. I think if we can make pavement, we'll be okay. She just loses traction as soon as it hits that grass. Like it was a freaking race car. There we are. There we are. All right, well, we know better for next time. There's absolutely no point in trying to crawl out of that. Now, not to say that isn't steep. That's vicious, you know. But this ain't exactly uh, a Toyota Hilux that's pulling this thing. Know what I'm saying, Bob? Fifteen k. Yeah, well, I'm still speeding. <laughs> So, for the second time in three days, Very Games, the people I rent this server from, have shut off the TeamSpeak server. I'm, I've, I've, I'm actually running TeamSpeak right now, even though I looked before I came on and I know I was the only one that was going to be on. But it doesn't... Uh, I did that the other day when they sent me a notice, just like they did for the actual game server, that because nobody had been on in ten days, they were going to shut the server down stop please thank you very much so i hope up there a little smoother like i said i logged in for a while while i was doing something else and then logged out when i shut my machine off 
only to turn my computer on the next morning and find out that they shut the service down. So, of course, uh, oops, I did, uh, did go back in and turn it on. I mean, right? Obviously. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, that is turning radius of a small moon. All right. Uh, only to find this morning that it was shut off again. Another notice from them. It's been shut off because there's been no one on for 12 days. And they can, well, there's been no one on for 12 hours. But, yeah. I don't know. Maybe they don't count it as logged unless there's two people on. You know what I mean? Which is absolutely ridiculous. Because if I look at the actual log for TeamSpeak itself, it shows that I was indeed... Can you for once finish on the right side? Man. Um, it shows that I was logged in when I did log in, so, I don't know. Anyway, I'm not very impressed with them, to be honest with you. And, uh, if I ever get another server... I think I will, uh... Go with someone else. Instead, I can almost understand it with the actual game server. Ooh, I hate the way this thing handles. It's, um, you know, it's a pretty big deal. They're actually keeping a basically a little computer up and running just for us. But this other, yeah, you know, there's no way that they run separate server machines for each TeamSpeak account. I mean, it's just, you know what I mean? It's not like you're going to modify it or make it bigger or use lots more of one or the other thing. As long as you've got enough bandwidth on that one server reserved for the number of slots you said you wanted, there's absolutely no reason for them to pause the service at all. That's just absolute crap, you know? And I mean, paid for the service, you shouldn't... Uh, on some separate thing as to exactly when it must be used. Now, I would have just gone back to my tracker but I left this running. I don't like to do that. There we are. Um, well, I'm going to tab because I just don't know now. I'm a lost. Oh, we might as well get you going. You've got the right header. Alright. But the first thing we need to do Get a really freaking big headland at the top here. Yay, piggies. What a fine looking pack of piglets. Indeed. So, there's been a reasonable little bit of interest generated with my uh, idea of the whole outdoor adventure and thing. So now I just gotta hope that this uh, slightly odd individual I'm getting the van from actually comes through. I mean, she did verify the other day that, oh yeah, no problem, I'm just waiting for my brother to bring the paperwork over and yada yada yada, so. I don't know. I'm hoping it comes together sooner rather than later. Because May is a really good month for uh, idiots. Fishing and such in this part of the world would be kind of a drag to miss it. Not that there aren't spots I could, you know, kind of reach more or less with my vehicle, but... There we go. 
I'm not actually going to do the entire row. I just don't want to be backing over my other field. While I do these headland stencil. So yeah, I mean, there are spots I can go in the meantime, but I don't want to get this thing underway and then find out that it's not going to pan out because I'm limited to, you know, down the road here to the local uh, bridge and that's about it. Yeah, not going to work for me. But we'll see. Why is that such a terrible looking mess at the end? I miss them on both sides of the... Uh, that's just weird, that is. I don't know what you guys are doing, but stop it. There you go. There you go. Everybody dizzy yet? I know I am. <laughs> All right, let's get this third headland pitched, shall we? There's a really steep hill behind me. The type that I know that if I actually tip too much of the butt end of this thing over it, we will not be able to recover. Doesn't matter how much forward willy I give her. No siree. Well, I imagine that beat thing is full again. So let's just get to the end of this particular headland. And then we will kick it on over to the hired help. Hopefully. Ah, oh, yeah, that turned out all right. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I know we've done half the field, right? <laughs> all righty. There you go, Mr. Hired Worker. I leave it in your slightly less than capable hands, and away you go. All right. What the heck is the else we got going on here? That looks pretty immobile, if you ask me. Yep. And you also looks like you're the wrong bleeding way around again. Why, oh why, must I drive you to the top of hill and point you in other direction? Hmm? Oh, and look at that, by like six feet, you bugger. You absolute bugger. I'm just going to do that this time. Perfect. Oh, rats. Uh. Oh, no. Yeah, a word of advice, it's uh, it's not old tap. <laughs> anyway, where the heck was I? <laughs> oh, I don't want to be there. I don't want to be there. I want to be there. <laughs> oh, jeez, I'll tell you. It's hard to be me. <laughs> Well, there you are. Nothing to see here. Move along. Move along. Oh. God. This thing is just a runaway freight train mess. Man. Okay. No. He's coming to the end of his row over there. So hopefully he manages to find a way to turn himself about. Uh, we're full, aren't we? Yeah. Notice them? Yes. Oh, that hero. Ow. Ran over my toe, you froops. 
Yeah, yeah, coming. Sorry, sorry. Uh, come on, baby. Run for it. There you go. There you go. So we're actually going to go a little different here this time. I'm going to see if I can't actually fit this over at the storage silo over there. I'm going this way because, well, I think this is going to be the only way I'm actually going to get there, to be honest with you. Come on, baby. Do it, do it, do it. Ooh, 17, 16, 15. I have the most athletic red-eared slider turtle in the universe, let me tell you, man. He's actually climbing the walls of the tank. Like there's a, a pool for him to swim in, and then the rest of it's uh, one inch uh, mesh wire. He actually climbs up the mesh like a ladder, you know? And then does backwards dives into the water. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Absolutely. Kind of like driving up here. It's just ridiculous. Alright, I want to be over there. So, ho, ho. Come on, baby. We're all the way back up to 15. We're on the downhill stretch. I wish I could cut through that field, but I'm not that much of a dick. Alright, here we go. I know it's a long way around to that silo, but I don't think I can actually make it the other way. I really don't. Well, that field doesn't belong to anybody, so I won't actually damage it, will I? That's alright. That's alright. Might as well stay with good practices. Okay. Um, one thing I do need to do here... Uh, where are we? Vehicle volume. Let's try that. I don't know that we'll in particular hear this thing, but I think all of the equipment's been turned down a little bit low. I wonder what that guy's doing up there. There we go. Here we go. brakes. Yeah! We almost rolled her, not quite. What? Oh, I couldn't turn. Like, it just wouldn't turn because the, uh... Oh, and now the train's coming. Of course it is. I guess the truck actually came right off the ground because of the angle of the hill there. Yeah, see, it's doing it again. Unbelievable. Hauling these sugar beets has been quite quite a, a task. <laughs> you know? It really has. Oh yeah, just go ahead. You don't see me here, do you? Of course not. Bright green truck, giant red box. Puh. It's nothing. There we are. Yeah, I really would not have made it up the entrance to this place. And the only other way is all grass, so. Alright, that turtle's just getting ridiculous. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm gonna make soup out of that boy. <laughs> Except the whole thought of turtle soup just disgusts the heck out of me. So. Looks like he's safe for another day. Uh, 
I wonder why this doesn't close. Oh, it does. It just takes, you know, forever. All right. I'm sure I can go back out this way. I'm sure empty we shouldn't have an issue getting up here, should we? Should we? No, not at all. Look at that. We're actually accelerating. And just in time. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, way too late, but I'm going to call it just in time. This is uh, taking a while, these beats, eh? Man. Alright, let's, uh... Oh, he's still going. Cool. Let's, uh... Go get ready for him, anyway. See, I want to get the uh, the sugar beet harvester back before I go and drop another big poodle of money on uh, leasing a cotton harvester. Well, let's see how that goes. In fact, we may end up buying that because that's what that big field across the road is going to be, is cotton. But we'll see. We'll see. We will see. I haven't actually looked at uh, how much cotton gear costs. I'm sure it'll be a half a million dollars. That's sort of a anything you want to get into. Half a million dollars. So, yeah. All right. How are you doing, dude? Oh, uh, really? I'm used to that sugar beet thing where you gotta be up an inch away from the, uh, the cutter to be of any use. There we go. There we go. Sunflowers. Mmm. What are they worth? Just in case we're uh, looking to sellicate them. Ooh, $1,430 at the restaurant. That's a pretty decent amount of money, man. Fourteen thirty. Wow. Oh, and we've got what? Forty thousand stashed away. Oh no. Oh, total capacity. I've got fifty-five thousand of them already stashed away. There you go. Cool. What did you give me? Only forty-five percent of the time. Okay. I'll come off to the side here and leave you alone. Uh, oh yeah, he's got lots of room to spin up there. Eh? Nice. You are 48% in. You're doing nothing because you got nothing to do. So. Da -da 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 -da. Let's go park up your kit. I might just go through the terraforming thing and put the sheds in and do all of that at the end of that other field. Never know. I'm gonna have to check the log and see who was uh, who was on plan for a day. That's awesome. Whoever it is, thanks. <laughs> nice to see the old server is not totally going to waste. We'll park here. They'll never know that uh, this isn't just another valued customer. Indeed. <laughs> Put some speed up. Nice long, even circle. Alright, let's see if he can carry half a load to the top of the hill. Come on, Chumley. It's 
too bad that axle there is just not really uh, doing its thing most of the time. It's certainly not a drive axle, I'll tell you that for free. Not at all. I don't remember what they call them, tag axle or something, but yeah. I don't think Giants actually has it functioning properly. Yeah, good luck matching speed with this runaway freight train. Oh, look at that. Freaking timing, man. Talk about timing. Even that a little bit. Whoa! Ah, come on. <laughs> Unbelievable. Alrighty. A little bit of speed up. Let's head for the pavement. I'm gonna keep a little bit of a downhill here until I do get to the pavement. Alright, there we go. There we go. Yes. Up we go. Alrighty. Yeah, see, the thing's not even touching now. Oh, he's barely touching the ground. I don't know. I don't think, uh, in all honesty, I don't think Giants did a very good job with this truck at all, did they? Is there an option to lower that? Am I just being a dick? Um, no, I can't switch to the truck, so... Huh. Well, there you go. Yeah, not the happiest. I should have maybe gone with the, uh, the dual axle on the, uh, the other man truck or whatever it was. Man, this looks all fierce, but not that impressed. That's a nice looking little river. I wouldn't mind fishing that. Come on. Jug on the lid. Helper E has completed their task. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> I didn't think anybody was near finishing any tasks. Hmm. And out you go. Thirteen seven, eh? Not bad. Yeah, you're just gonna wait back there, car, because I don't want to be losing no momentum here. Let me tell you, it's important to me. <laughs> well, we've actually made it back before we were needed. That's brilliant. 
So who thinks they're finished their task all out of the blue here? Oh, my god, they are. <laughs> well, alrighty then. You go, little hired worker. We're only about uh, halfway through the sugar beets. They should be where? Oh. Don't look over your other shoulder, Dick. Whatever you do. I guess they've left, haven't they? So we're just going to guess at where to put this thing. I don't know. Let's call it there. I don't need to start the engine. Uh, yeah, I need to start the engine. Oh, don't be a funky dump. Come on. There you go. You didn't have much in you anyway, did you? Hmm. So there we go. We'll get them prepped for the next crop, which is soybean. But I think that's going to probably do it for our little adventure here today. So, do hope everybody enjoyed. I'm going to go slap a different head on this thing. I think it's just uh, right down there, as a matter of fact. Beautiful. So... Take care of each other, folks. Remember, if you enjoyed the episode, please don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps me out. And, uh, well, take care of each other. And ciao before now. You gonna drop? You are! Whoops. <laughs>